It's another day of falling snow and travel woes mm. as round two of this winter storm has us on a next weather alert. State Patrol saying from 930 last night until 730 this morning, there were 69 crashes, four injuries, 151 spin outs and three semis jackknifed. Now we were at the Pilot Travel Center in Invergrove Heights throughout the morning. You can see here these trucks parked. They're not moving. That heavy snow is keeping about 100 of them right in their place. So we saw tires spinning out on some of the semis who were trying to get out. Another big issue that's happening down here with these trucks are the way scales. They're covered in snow and you got to use those to get these trucks out too. So it could be at least another 24 hours before they can move them on out. The worker down there has been snow blowing. He says nonstop, but says you're really going to need some of the big plows to come in and help. It's blowing snow and trying to keep the uh, trucks moving along and uh... You know, keep the snow off the scales and, uh, like I said, keep the pathways smooth. So, yeah, it's just nonstop. And you were saying the snow was affecting the, the scales? scales? Yep, truckers are trying to uh, weigh their trucks, and uh, it, it was just too much snow packing in there. So I tried to keep it clean, and it just couldn't keep up with the snow. So we, of course, will continue to keep an eye on this story, but it tells you something about this storm when it affects even the big rigs like these. It certainly does. We also stopped by the Burnsville Transit Center early this morning. Passengers say the snow made for a messy commute. Uh, it was a little slow. Uh, the roads aren't completely plowed yet. I think for Minnesota, you just get used to it. So, I mean, it wasn't any more um, difficult of a drive than normal, but it's... Uh, the roads aren't plowed completely. Uh, side roads are pretty bad. So. We begin this next weather alert team coverage. Pauline has been following this next drive all morning long. It's just been a mess out there. It's been terrible. The metro is still littered with a whole bunch of crashes. But if there's any consolation, there is at least some good news in there. And I'll get to that in just a second. Let's take a look at the cameras here. Let's go to South St. Paul. This is what I'm talking about. We're seeing a lot of spin outs, a lot of crashes. But as of right now, they're not really impeding on traffic. We've already made it past the morning rush. And so there's these incidents here that are out of the way and traffic can still get by. Now let's go to Egan. This is 494. Oh, this is actually, um, this is from 35E getting onto the ramp to 77. So mm. we are so That's close, news, guys. Then. This is so close because this has been here for the past 45 minutes or yeah. so. Explain to us, hey, Pauline, can you explain yeah. to us what this is? Because it's, it's, a, it's a tight shot here. Yes. So this is the ramp. If you're going from 35E south, you're trying to get onto 77, you have to take a round ramp. And so this semi here, jackknife, about 45 minutes ago, cars were still able to get sneak by until another semi tried to do that, and then both of them got stuck. Oh. So one semi's gone, this one on. On its way out so we are so close to emptying that ramp guys so just hang tight here but a semi is having a lot of issues this morning and then one more I want to show you too this one in Coon Rapids as you can see again off to the side of the road you got the tow trucks there uh, traffic can still get by some more good news from 930 last night to about 730 this morning 69 crashes four people hurt no one died. That is the good news here. 151 spin-offs, guys. That's a lot. And then three jackknife semis this morning. Yeah. So that's a lot. But thankfully, no one was killed this morning. So yeah. that is at least mm -hmm. some good news. Yeah, it yeah. certainly is. And hopefully people take it slow and stay home mm -hmm. if they don't have to be out and about. Pauline, thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, we also want to get a closer look at the roads now. Barrett Leone, live in the next weather tracker. Barrett, give us your location. And also, what are the conditions like where you are? Hey, AJ, we're in Bloomington right now on 494 eastbound, and things are challenging here. We're dealing with ice slush. Uh, roadways appear to be more clear than what we were seeing earlier, but it's icy out here. There were a few moments where we're in this big, you know, sturdy vehicle, this next weather tracker, and we could feel the ice bumps underneath the tires as we were driving. So we're definitely taking it slow this morning between 30 and 40 miles per hour, uh, but definitely slippery. Another friendly reminder, I've seen this a couple times, is snow on top of cars. You want to make sure you brush all of that out because with this heavy snow, that falling out could be a really big challenge, a hindrance to someone behind you. That snow knocking on the windshield. Um, another thing we've been seeing all morning is cars uh, it's struggling at intersections and turn lanes, and we've seen multiple vehicles in ditches because of that snow. A lot of people shoveling themselves out this morning because it's slippery and they just can't control it. So it's, it's been a struggle this morning, quite challenging conditions. Um, we will be tracking this uh, into the next hour, and we'll check in with you later. Yeah, just another reminder, make sure you have that winter car kit in your car just in case something does happen to you. Barrett, thanks.
Mm -hmm. Let's check in now with next weather meteorologist Katie Steiner because this snow we've seen it's coming down Katie and it's going to last throughout the day. Yeah. yeah so there was a difference between what you saw the video that was about five or six o'clock this morning with those really big flakes very similar to what we saw last night. Well now you're looking outside this is a downtown and the, it's much different. Yes it's still snowing as you saw the mobile our weather lab there had to brush all that snow off windshield wiper it's definitely needed however they're very, very small, very fine flakes. If you look to the right side of the, your screen, you can see them flying. And it's windy out there, so the snow is going to be flying around 12 miles per hour. We're at 32 degrees. Here's a look at our satellite and radar. You can just see how much moisture is with this system. Now, as we zoom in a little bit, another thing, you see how that dark purple has now gone to maybe a more lighter purple, that white. It's a lighter snow that is falling. So we're going to zoom in closer to the Twin Cities here. You can see a little bit of heavier snow right now falling. Elk River, Buffalo. So if you live to the West Metro, you're seeing heavier snow. But if you live to the north, or right here in Minneapolis, we're in that little white area on that radar. And that's what we're going to be expecting through the rest of the day is just the light snow. I think that really heavy stuff probably out of the way. It's going to get lighter and lighter as the day goes on. So here's a look at your next 24 hours. Temperature's not really going to go anywhere, but that snow, not really going to go anywhere either. Stick it around until really tomorrow morning. That morning commute tomorrow still have a, has a potential to see some snow showers, but nothing like what we've seen in the last 24 hours. We got people have gotten more than 10 inches of snow and we could expect two to five more inches on top of that. So this is a pretty big storm, guys. You, this is one of those multi shovel storms. Yeah. So you got to snow blow once, twice, maybe three times. Mm -hmm. But um, if you want to, if you want to plan your day today, there's not really a good break to right. shovel that snow. Yeah. But I, I don't think I would say maybe once in the morning or afternoon, right. and then once before you go yeah, to bed. I mean, in All Minneapolis right. and St. Paul, the cities are learning that a hard way mm -hmm. this morning. Katie, thank you. We mm -hmm. just learned moments ago St. Paul has declared a snow emergency. So started at nine o'clock tonight. All the night plow routes will be plowed in St. Paul. Now Minneapolis has not yet, but is expected to follow suit. Both Minneapolis and St. Paul say they do have extra plows out. Many other metro area cities have declared a snow emergency. To find out if your city is on that list, head to our website. Well, today's snow once again caused cancellations and delays at MSP International. According to flight tracking website FlightAware, there were already 95 cancellations and 51 delays this morning. And last night, a plane carrying nearly 150 people, it slid off the end of the taxiway at MSP. It's because of the storm. Thankfully, everyone was able to walk away. Airport says that the plane had landed safely just before 7 o'clock, but then its nose gear slid 30 feet and got stuck in a snowbank. Metro Transit then tweeted out images of their bus coming to pick up passengers from the airplane. They say they're always happy to help their partners in times of need. Airport says that field maintenance crews had been working to clear and treat the runways and taxiways. MSP did temporarily close their runways around 730 because of the weather conditions, but they say that was unrelated to this incident. The plane was removed from the taxiway overnight and Delta has apologized for the delay. Look